<laughs> this is the story of the infamous Horizon Sanctum and the quest's original appearance slated for Diablo 1, which was cut from the final game. Once the player has entered the level 8 catacombs, searched for three spell tomes to read in order of North, East, West. In spiritu sanctum, predictum, otium, officio, obitus, ut inimicus. A path opens up, and upon reading the arcane tome, it divulges. Let this tome serve as your warning. This is a forbidden place. Return from whence you came and your life will be spared. Horizon, master of the disciplines that summon and bind creatures to this plane, promises death to those who pass beyond the five pillars. You have been admonished. Thoroughly admonished, we start heading back to town for more clues before we approach the unholy pillars and learn what we can first from Ogden, the tavern owner, who says, You sound like dark creatures indeed. I am ignorant in matters of this nature, but I would assume that our storyteller may know of such legends. Ogden, although open with his own ignorance, gives us our first lead. The town scholar, Deckard Kane, for more clues. Approaching him, he says, So, you seek knowledge concerning the wars of hell, do you? Cryptic tomes speak of great battles that determine which of the demonic lords are to rule over hell. They also mention a bitter rivalry between two of these lords, Osmodon, who led the Horned Death against the armies of light, and Belial, known as the Lord of Lies. Their hatred of each other is eternal. The reasons for their loathing, lost even to themselves. Tales abound that the mad wizard Horizon somehow trapped the lieutenants of these two lords of hell within his sanctum. There can be no more dangerous a path to tread than the one that falls alongside of demons. Should you also seek this path, watch your life and your soul very carefully, my friend. What an amazing tale to be cut from the game, as most players of Diablo 2 are intimately familiar with Horizon Sanctum. It's honestly amazing that not only is this referenced in the original Diablo, but also the deeper lore of Asmodan and Belial, which we are not fully privy to their machinations until Diablo 3. With that, we consult Griswold, the blacksmith, who has meandered on over mid-conversation and say, A bold tale indeed. My limited time beneath the cathedral leaves me purely equipped to offer you any help with this. But, as always, you'll find Cain well-versed in legends and folklore. It seems Horizon 2 is beyond Griswold's grasp. However, there is one man that surprises us, or lets us down completely, and rarely anything in between. So we head to Farnham, the town drunk, who says, Sounds like a good idea to me. You better get started right away. Okay, that's one for the letdown. Also, I am concerned that Farnham is sitting so close to the once infested cellar, but he seems content enough. So we head instead to the town healer, Pepin. Horizon was insane. There are forces with which one does not interfere. It would not surprise me if you found only the charred remains of this damn fool. It's true. Who would have the gall to take on not one, but two lesser evils and bound them to himself in any fashion drawing their ire to boot. Words to ponder as we head over to Wirt who says, The care and feeding of demons is definitely not an interest of mine. Here is a piece of friendly advice. If you get the chance, kill anything you see down there. Huh. Sage wisdom for a boy staring at a crack into hell itself. I wonder if Jillian too has any more insights or maybe her grandmother has seen a vision of this. This is something that is far beyond anything I have ever learned. I can only think of one person in all of Tristram who could help you. Cain, of course. She may be right. 
Cain is a font of knowledge, but when it comes to the dark arts, never dismiss Adria the Witch. So we head to her shack on the outskirts of town. You must destroy the two demons that Horizon has trapped within his sanctum at all costs. Should they escape from their imprisonment, they will create a link to this world that will make what lies below the cathedral seem like a children's tale. Imperius's holy spear, demons more powerful than what lies beneath the cathedral? What kind of man believes he can bind demons of that nature for any amount of time? We heed Adria's advice and make haste to the entrance of Horizon's sanctum. This is a place of great power. Inside the sanctum, the warrior Adrian remarks that it is a place of great power. And we get this unsettling feeling we're unwanted guests in this realm. A place that feels detached from our own time and space. We head south over the blood smear and try the first telepad to no avail. It's then we are met by nasty night clan archers and red death that attack us. Realizing the distance puts us at a severe disadvantage due to spells cast by traps and the ranged attacks of our foes, we encounter the first unique cold enchanted red death as we slog through the maze of the sanctum. Although Firewall disperses the Night Clan very nicely, we find little solace in the fact that this is a sorcerer's den, best built for ranged attacks. To the south, we happen upon an inner sanctum of sorts, guarded by night clan, traps, and tomes guarded by the mage Simonensis, the charlatan. After dropping the poison-infused fiend, we pilfer his short staff of flash and the tomes, reading the Tome of Knowledge which says, Then by binding the spirit to the crafted rock, it is given life. This sounds like a spell of some kind. And gifts us with arcane knowledge. We then head into the room next to us, one of which reveals the creature of flame tome. Upon reading it, it says, The Creature of Flame by Horizon. Should be interesting reading. Unfortunately, this was a non-fiction tale, and a Creature of Flame pounces forth to assault us. <laughs> Surviving the encounter, we venture onto a room just yonder where Horizon's journal lies. This looks like some sort of journal. It seems that I may have brought something to this plane that even I cannot control. The creature that fell into my astral trap is a very deadly demon. I have been able to bind it at the bottom of a pit, but it kills everything that I have sent there in attempts to defeat it. While it cannot escape, it does block the tunnels that lead to my protected haven. I am tempted to use the switch to open the tunnels to see if it will just leave, but I fear it is smarter than most of the lesser demons I have trapped before. If I could just lure it somewhere else. Here it is clear. Horizon is in over his head, having trapped a greater demon in his pit and unable to control it anymore. And it's also, unfortunately, our only path forward. Entering the pit, it seems like another layer of the cathedral, though this belies its true nature, no doubt. Also, as it's out of time and space, full of nightkin and guardian mudmen, it feels akin to a maze in which a minotaur waits of Greek legend of yore. After unlocking switches on both sides, it seems the main room opens to us and surprises us with the demon Doomlock, no doubt that one of the devils Horizon spoke of. It sets upon us with a vicious assault, only to teleport to and fro. Upon sending it back to the void, Aiden utters one word. Aye. Heading south and leaving no witnesses, we destroy the rest of the mud men and their foul night kin brethren, before teleporting out of the pit and seemingly 
back into the sanctum. Reading the Circle of Binding Tome, we learn of Belial's own lieutenant, Grimspike, and how to summon him. The lieutenant of Belial is known as Grimspike. Beware this demon, for his strength appears immeasurable. Reading this scroll, and therefore speaking his name near an arcane circle of binding, will surely summon him there. Hmm. Near a circle of binding. It seems that if we read this book of names, Grimspike will appear. We cautiously open its pages and... Morta, Vespa, Gaia, Inumino, Evagin, Jatan, Lua, Gretan. Grimspike explodes with a ball of flame. He's knocked back and flames viciously lick at us, and his assault is something we can barely stand. In a last ditch effort, we use the insanity spell, which grants us a small window and burst of power at the cost of being heavily vulnerable when it wears off momentarily. <sighs> Hitting Grim Spike with Cleave, we destroy one of Belial's best and a gifted an orange barbarian's belt recipe. But what's this? We're greeted by an unfamiliar summoner. Could this be the fabled Horizon in the flesh? Here to thank us for our help of ridding his sanctum of these demons? As we approach Horizon upon contact, he immediately becomes hostile. <laughs> <laughs> The ungrateful Horizon with a mocking laugh, which I might add he maintains for the duration of the battle, starts exuding rings of fire, opening portals to hell with sickening sounds and delighting in the demons that pour forth. Our disadvantage of distance is heavily punctuated mockingly by the fact he is teleporting to and fro further and further sending unholy packs of fiends at us. We desperately call forth blasts of lightning, trying to overcome the demons and remember lessons learned previously. And instead of focusing on the demons, we turn all of our attention to Horizon himself. As he falls, laughing at us, even in a skeletal visage which hangs momentarily, still getting his last laugh mocking us in death, before finally dissipating. With only standard loot around, it was actually Sabenensis who gave us the best reward, save all of the spell tomes and books which would have been a phenomenal boom for any sorcerer. The staff that we acquired was named Glean Song, which boasts plus 12 to magic, an unfortunate minus 8 to vitality, regenerates mana 3 per 5 seconds, hit steals 3% mana, plus 4% to spell power, and 27% damage absorbed by mana. A bit of a glass cannon special with a nice twist with the mana absorption. But what did you think of seeing Horizon for the first time in the flesh? Do you rate the quest and think it's a missed opportunity or best left to leave him as a mystery and only explore his sanctum in Diablo 2? Let me know in the comments and make sure to like, subscribe and hit that bell notification as I post videos most weekdays at 7pm PST. Also, if you want a further discussion, I have a Discord now linked in the description for you fellow lore junkies and of course the Beelzebub mod which made this quest possible. Thanks for watching and until next time, Traveller.